is Kenta from Hanabi Maru. Hello. Wow. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, thank you for joining again. Uh, for the first viewer, uh, can I ask your name and nationality again? I'm Maria from Germany. And I'm Magda from Poland. So, how have you been since we met last? Oh, amazing. We just Great. visited Kyoto and Osaka. And Osaka, Osaka yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, and Nara. Was it good for you? Oh, amazing. We tried a lot of Japanese traditional food. We tried a lot of matcha sweets. Also, especially in Kyoto because it's famous for matcha. Yes. So, today, we will have a Japanese sweets. Do you like sweets? Of yes. course. Yes, we I love can't sweets. get enough of them. Okay, follow me. Let's go. Okay, uh, which would you like? Uh, coffee and red tea? You can also order juice like this. I want watermelon, please. Uh, watermelon? Okay. Yes. I can have a melon juice. Uh, watermelon? Well. Yeah, sure. Uh, really? I have a question. Yep. Is today a holiday in Japan? Yes, holiday. Celebration yes. day. I read it in the internet. So it's a yes. celebration of celebration, celebration for... A respect to elder people. This is what I found in India. Uh, yeah, elder, elder people. So yes. I want to greet all the elderly people of Japan. We love you. We love you. <laughs> we have, we've made great experiences with you. And we want to say thank you. Yes. Watermelon is from Japan. Oh. So, yeah, so I want uh, you to so drink yes. we need to have national the... food yes. Yes. drink. Ju I think this will be the best watermelon juice I ever yes. drank. Yes. Sometimes in Europe, from import, so it has no taste. Yeah, it very, very often it's just like water with a little bit of taste. So it has a detox effect. Oh, I will be so healthy yes. after this one. Yes. One and juice I'm and that will the end of my life. Everything in my body. <laughs> yeah, you know this juice is 100%. Uh, oh, yes. I love so, it. Yes. I love it. I yeah. can't wait. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So they don't add uh, any water. Mm -hmm. It's 100%. I will enjoy it so much. Wow! <laughs> Do you remember how to make a greeting before eating? Yes, yeah, you will remember. I forgot, but I repeated after Maria, sorry. <laughs> wow, we remember very well. But I remember Kampai. Yes, Kampai, yes. See you again, Kampai, yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm in love, really. It's so sweet. Uh, let's try it. Yes, great. Yeah, a bread. It's sweet. Sweet. Just like the Strawberries. Yeah, so many strawberries. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. But like myself, I will never have the idea to make such a thing with toast bread. Like usually we are making pancakes. Pancakes. But with bread? It's bread. Such bread. a good idea. It's like a good balance. Yeah. <laughs> Today you are also dancing. Dancing too. Since we have dancing mushrooms, we are just like dancing. Yeah. It's because of you, Kato. We cannot stop dancing after dancing mushrooms. <laughs> oh, yesterday we went to karaoke. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. What did you see? Abba, Lady Gaga, and uh, Britney Spears. Oh. Yeah, so they had a lot of English songs. So yeah. Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> because 
you were too busy with your barbecue. We for which one you didn't invite us. So don't you have a karaoke place in your country? We have, but it's a it's little bit different. different. Mm. So here you have your own room. In our city, you have like one stage in a bar, and you sing in front of everyone. People judging you. Ah. You don't have a private room. No, like yes. you make it public. Ah. Like there is the DJ, he makes a list. You have to wait in the queue for your turn. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you, you will go say, on the stage. Now please come to the stage. Magda and Maria. Oh, like a performance. <laughs> yes. yes. I like it. Very good. So one more. Mm -hmm. The yellow one. <laughs> I will miss this last one. Yes. Do you want to have a coffee as well? Actually, coffee is uh, free. Oh, in this nice. Yes. I will, yes. I will. I will bring so coffee. Yes. Thank you. With milk. With milk. With milk. With milk. milk. And you? Yes. Sir. With milk. Okay. We have strawberry, kiwi, and mango. And banana, I think. It's an amazing experience. I love yeah. it. I will try the Japanese watermelon now. People. Sorry, when it's about the dessert like this, 
There is no French <laughs> I don't know how to eat the fruit, but I will manage this. Yeah, I'm also a little bit. Magda, do you like chocolate? I but love chocolate. Than fruit something. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. when it's super sweet. Like in my opinion, when you order dessert, it has to be sweet. <laughs> Well, Maria, how upset would you be? Yes, very. I don't know I what. Would just. Oh. No! <laughs> Only one. Only one thing. Not my raspberry. Also, my friendship has boundaries. <laughs> You like mango, right? I do, I really do. It's so exotic. Yeah, yeah you have a chocolate ice cream. And I'm in love. Do you also have an ice cream? I do. But not chocolate. Oh, in Osaka, we order a. We thought it's French toast. But when we tried, it was cheesecake. Very puffy, very fluffy. We're like, it's big. It was such a big surprise. Yeah, yeah. And we had. Wait, I can show you the picture. Oh, and there were the the mochi which we tried with you last time. Yes. Morabi mochi. Morabi mochi. Yes. It was with the matcha taste and the sandwich we tried with you. They really love sweets like this because we are sweet kawaii girls sweet kawaii girls <laughs> i loved it one time uh, i showed magdala shoes i was oh. like magda and magda was like no and the, the lady who was doing the sales she was laughing she so was much. laughing so much and every time i was looking at something the, the lady looked at magda and was like waiting for the, the lady was like <laughs> <laughs> Then did you buy it? She bought a lot. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's shopping at it. Do you think Japan is expensive or cheap? For clothes, like it depends. You can find very cheap clothes and you can find expensive clothes. But I think it's a good price. It's I think it's the same. Yeah, because you get nicer and more high quality things for more money, but I still think that the prices are okay. But you, I really like Japanese fashion because uh, in Japan there's a lot going on. There's like a lot of bows and layers and I don't know, pearls, diamonds, sparkles, and I, I, I don't look like it, but I like it. <laughs> what really surprised me, maybe I'm wrong, but when we checked shoes, there weren't sizes. Like in Europe, we have a lot of sizes, like even half size of shoe. And here was small, medium, large. And we're like, how you can buy a proper shoe if there are just three sizes? But we also saw, like in the metro, that a lot of girls wear shoes that don't fit them, that are way too small or, or way, way too big. big. Oh, but we have, we have seen, seen, twenty six point five, twenty seven. Oh yeah. Yes. Sometimes they only have an S M L. Okay. <laughs> so in Arashiyama, um, they had the option for a whole day or two hours. Oh my God. Already so late, let's go for two hours. No, like we wanted rent it for one day, and the lady said, You cannot eat in this like two hours. We have to eat. We love food. We love food, you know. We had the, the yukata, not the kimono. It was, it was so hot. It was so beautiful. But it was so beautiful. made us very beautiful high still. I love making my hair still, but this what the lady made in five minutes, I won't make like one hour. She was just like, <laughs> what do you want in your hair? Bam, bam, bam. That's it. Ah, how are you? By the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. Wow. 
Ah, bamboo forest too. So very so beautiful. Then we quickly noticed that it was not the best idea to go into the bamboo forest in the kimono. Like kimono was quite fine, but the shoe killed me. But I would do it again. It was so much fun. But we watched the uh, Michael then. Michael. Yeah, we went to the um, what was the name of the museum? Um, Art. Young Art Museum. Yeah, um, and they had uh, not the Isha, but the Michael. Ah, Michael. Michael. Yeah, Michael performed a traditional dance ah. and uh, we watched it. Oh, really? It was really, uh, really cool. It was amazing. It was very surprising in Kyoto, the public transport. Yes, yes. Public, it, it, killed it, it killed me. It killed me. Oh my god, I wanted to cry before the bus. Yeah. We have the exact note because we get no change in the bus. So we were all the time counting the coins. Yes. And also, um, like, the bus is open, so you go inside. And at the end, you have to go to full bus, the bus driver, either to show your ticket or buy the ticket and go out. One moment I really wanted to cry because it was like 100 people in one yeah. small tiny you bus. Like this in the bus, like this. I didn't need to hold anything because the people were just too crowdy. I just looked at Maria, I wanted to cry because they're like, Next station is our how we go through this everything. <laughs> oh that was really nice. What is this? That's my last bite. Mango. Mango and ice cream. Ice cream. Oh celebration. Last bite, Maria. Go Maria, go Maria, go, go, go. Woo! <laughs> I'm so sad that it's over. <laughs> How was your berry? Um, very good. I ate it in the beginning so that Magda would steal it. Oh. I won't <laughs> steal it. I just easy <laughs> kill. I know. I you know in Poland flip flops we call Japanese sandals, like Japanese flip flip flops. We are calling this Yaponki. Yaponki? Yes, and Yaponki is adjective from Japan. Yes, and I think it, it works only in Poland like this. And I think in Japan you have no idea that we are calling this shoe Japanese shoe. Like this, with, with. It, it's just like kind of shoe, but in Poland we are calling this Yaponki. Japanese shoe. Yaponki. 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 Wow. Do you know why? I, I, I thought I thought everyone called this like Yaponki Japanese shoe. No, Germany, it's not called Yaponki. It's called flip flops. But I think it maybe originated. You have the kimono yukata. We also got like the traditional ones where you have like the strap in between the yes. And I think it's so, we went to Nara, to the park, the deer park. Mm, and deer park. As you know, there are a lot of deer there. Yes, yes. I was really excited and I bought the rice cakes, but I underestimated the deer. I have to say something, I have to say something. Before we went to Nara, I don't like big animals. Like, deer are cute, but I told her they will be following us and I told her before. Just like even before train, before we even go there, I said, "Sorry, I'm scared. I will have panic attack. Like we can go there, but if you plan to buy food for them, just be away from me." You can continue the story. So I bought the rice cakes and I fed one deer, and suddenly there was a lot of them coming. They were so like gone. I, so I started running away. But Which direction, Maria? <laughs> and the deer ran after me. Twenty years after Maria. And I ran towards Magda. <laughs> and she was all the time running to my and direction. And Magda was like, "Don't run to me! Don't run! Don't come to me!" We, we had agreement. We had agreement. She said she's not scared at all. But when there were twenty deer there, well, yeah, they started to like. Uh, what? When I didn't give it, the rice cake, 
It started to, it started to hit my skirt, and I was like, here, go, take it, take it, but leave me alone. And she was running my direction. <laughs> yeah, but then we have a strategy, we have to go to the really old animals, because, because, they, cannot, because they cannot run. <laughs> but, but the old animals were very kawaii, very cute, and very demure, and very they, were, they were gentle, and they did like this. Yes. Well. It was so cute. Maria tried to be younger, making this and I was like Maria it will eat your hair don't do it <laughs> yeah we have fun then who has fun <laughs> okay I had fun on Magda Magda was scared I had fun too but when you were running my direction not so much <laughs> you know they also have horns and yeah. it didn't happen to us but they would poke other tourists in the ass Yes. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and they would go like this. <laughs> and the deer would be like, give me food. And also, if you don't buy food, they are not interested in you at all. Like zero. They will pay zero attention to you. <laughs> if you buy food, they pay. If you buy food, yeah. you will have like 20 of them around you. Try to kill you. <laughs> <laughs>